Hey, look, wait a minute. I want to tell y'all something. Y'all don't know what y'all have went through until you see some of the stuff I've seen and, I ha and I've been seeing. Um, I just looked at Asheville, North Carolina. They got like rapids, rapid, and rapid of water running through their cities there in Asheville, North Carolina. I've got trees, big limbs, and stuff in my backyard, and I can't even get there. My wife and my neighbor, she just lives by herself with kids, and I can't get there to do any of it, and it, and it kind of bothers me. I'm 300 miles from delivering this load, and then another 50 from picking up my next load, and then two and a half hours home. It'll be to the Saturday night before I get home. It's part of trucking, but when a disaster or something hits, it just, it's hard on me, man. It's, I try to give it all to God. That's all I can do. Um, Y'all look up when you get a minute. When you get a minute, look up. Asheville, North Carolina's flooding. And see what they got hit from this hurricane. That's bad. I live about two hours away from there, maybe an hour and a half from Asheville, North Carolina. And I go through there all the time on 40, I Interstate 40 going through the mountains and all to get to North Carolina. Right now that's shut down. If you look at, on their website, they're flooding. They had catastrophic flooding. I mean, I, I can't, it, it, their cities and all are turned to water. U-Hauls are floating down the road. That's how bad it is. I got tree limbs and all from this dead tree in my backyard. The mobile home park I live in, they got, they say they got bids out to knock down this tree, but that don't stop the big limbs right now from falling. And if it damages my house, what am I gonna do? I got a thousand dollar deductible. I had to have insurance or they wouldn't let me keep my trailer <clears throat> sitting there. So I'm not really complaining. I, I've got it made. I've got clothes on my back, shoes on my feet, food in my mouth, money in my pocket. I got the Lord most of all in my heart. And that's what we got to have is the Lord in our heart. Yeah, you can have your family. You can have your loved one. You can have your spouse your grandkids most of all and but if you ain't got the Lord in your heart none of this is gonna matter none of this is gonna matter nothing's gonna matter if you don't have God in your heart I'm telling you I'm telling you now go run get on your knees ask the Lord to forgive you for all your sins and confess and add, and tell him you will you do believe you do believe that he died Jesus died for our sins if you don't have God in your heart I I don't know your your life just can't be that happy it's not going to be the, my life is great I'm just woke up I'm still half asleep I got Wishing I was home to help my wife pick up those limbs and all and stuff and in in a process her and the neighbor next door and like the kids are out there picking up limbs and stuff out of the yard and I live in Tennessee. I don't live down there in Florida and all, Asheville where all the flooding and stuff is Nothing's near as bad But it doesn't matter how bad it gets if you got God in your heart and you love him with all your might, all your soul, and you put him first, it'll all be okay. It's all gonna be okay. His mercies are new every morning. His mercies are new every morning. Okay? God loves you, so do I. I gotta get out of here. I got a lot of work to do I've been doing straight driving man not stop hardly i've been stopping in emergency and pulling over on the side of the road to pee and that's how i almost don't make it i'm that's how much straight driving i'm doing um and y'all be respectful out here on the road <clears throat> remember truck drivers deliver any and everything you've got there's nothing you can't think of
Well, we don't deli- well uh, we don't deliver your humanly body, but we deliver the caskets. And one day we're all going to be in one, or we're going to be underground. Anyway, God loves you, so do I. Be loving to each other. Have a wonderful day. Help each other. Go somewhere where there's a catastrophic disaster and help somebody. There's a lot of it right now. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. This is Trucker Tim signing off, getting ready to do some trucking. Whoop, whoop. Got to go get coffee. Peace.